Hello. I've designed a new type of continuously variable transmission. This 3D model is not an exact representation of the working physical prototype. Instead, it's a simple sketch that just helps me explain the principle of operation. Firstly, there are two flywheels, a smaller one that is the input and a bigger one that is the output. The input flywheel has a pivot, the blue axle, that can slide along the radius. The distance between the pivot and the center of rotation is varied using a hydraulic piston inside that is driven through a hydraulic rotary union. It's actually a variable stroke crankshaft. The closer it gets to the center, the lower the speed transferred to the connecting rod and the higher the force. The product of speed and force is indeed constant and equals the mechanical input power. When the pivot is right in the center, the transmission is on neutral. For this reason, this is not only a CVT, but also an IVT. The variable linear movement is then transferred through the connecting rod, the red part, to lever of constant length on the output mechanism. The blue lever does not rotate completely, because its length is bigger than the maximum radius of the variable crank. Instead, it oscillates within an approximately 90 degrees angle. The amplitude gets smaller as the input radius gets smaller. The lever is connected to a roller clutch, the blue part, which drives an intermediary flywheel. This flywheel rotates completely, but the movement is somehow discrete, so there are two linear springs that transfer the rotation to the final output flywheel to smooth the rotation. We have low angular speed and high torque when the amplitude of oscillation is small, or high angular speed and low torque when the amplitude is big. Unlike other CVTs that use belts or steel bolts, this is obviously not friction based, therefore it should be more efficient and be able to extend higher torques without risk of slippage. The main problem that must be solved though is the trepidation that might appear during operation. I think that using two such mechanisms in parallel working in opposite directions would cancel out the forces generated by the rod movement and by the bearing oscillation.